Hey guys, welcome back. It's Don here from Pandemic Playground and today I am going to start building a new vehicle, another vehicle to help me offload the conveyor belt system that we've just built. Um, I finally got it to the position that I need and let me show you guys right over here. It's at a pretty good position, but I really can't offload it. I tried to do it, but that has flipped back. I mean, I could kind of use pistons and lift it up and try to get it back into position, but I still need it to be almost touching this area. So what I'm doing is building a truck called the rotator. Basically, if you're familiar with tow trucks uh, or if you ever watched that, you know, those shows with the tow truck, I forgot, a highway rescue or something like that. Anyway, I'm trying to build something like a rotator. This way I have a full crane system that I could offload and move it to wherever I need much easier and part of this whole series with space industries i actually like building these type of vehicles to kind of make it a little bit more fun instead of having to just you know appear stuff or make stuff work so yeah i'm actually having a lot of fun building this crane system originally i thought of building it as a stationary unit but what if i needed somewhere else so i decided to build a bigger version of it so yeah i have the battery system over here I think I'm going to put the mechanism in the middle with the crane and then obviously the front would be the driver's seats and all that stuff. So that's where I'm at with this. I might want to add two more batteries to this just for the weight. And um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But I kind of like the setup right now how it is. It looks pretty cool. So this I might want to reinforce and i might want it to extend it out so it kind of comes out in a sense yeah i'm going to put some design into this i might be able to do something pretty cool All right, here we have it guys. I finished the build. Uh, I did a quick little time lapse. I should put headlights on and stuff like that, but I'll worry about that later. But functionality wise, it all works. Um, other than having no programming scripts on this um, thing, you could say, I kind of violated the rule just for a little bit for this sake. 
Meaning, uh, yeah, this vehicle does have programming script, but I am not going to be using programming script for this entire assembly, just for the vehicles I build, which makes it a little bit easier. And come on, let's be honest, you guys want to see this thing work too. So, yeah, let's um, pop in and do some testing. Now, I did forget to do one thing, which is for my um, pistons itself. These should all share inertia tensioner uh, tension and there we go okay so let's see if we could actually drive this thing it drives okay probably need a better steering angle it's a little bit wide for these wheels to be honest it doesn't look that great with three by threes i think it would look way much better with five by fives but it should be able to get the job done i even put some exhaust on there to make it look so cool all right, let's see how this is gonna work. Oh, how did this slide off? Like, I did not do that. It just eventually slid off, I guess. All right, um, I did put a lot of points. Uh, the landing gear could also rotate at the rear, so that's gonna help move this around. Let me see if I can get into a good position. Like, say, here. Uh, deploy the landing gears. Bam. Now that I got that in, I should be able to move this around. And let's see. Let's rotate this a little bit. I could grab it now and can I lift it? Ooh. I can lift it. <laughs> oh man, this is cool. Uh, what I should do is actually get my truck underneath out of there. Let's see if I can rotate this a little bit. Oh, this is so much fun. Ooh. Okay. It is shaking like crazy. But I am going to move this out of the way. park it let's get back there a little bit um, I think I should be able to lower it let's see pull back a little right Turn this a little to the left. Let's lower that a little. Funniest thing is I don't have anything in front to hold it in place anymore. So I'm going to have to build the legs out. That means I have to lift this up. This crane system is amazing. I'm telling you guys, it is so much fun to do this. So to lift this back up, let's get that up there. Ooh, it is not stable. Come on. Okay. 
Got one side in. Okay. Much better. Now I could pop in here. Lower it a bit. Oh, I need to rotate a little bit and get it closer to a wall. I'm almost there though. This is actually really fun. Slap it against the wall. Drop it a little bit. Wow. Pretty much nailed it. Okay, now I could enable the landing gears here. Bam. Come over here. Release the lock. Bring it back up. Pull the arm back in. success well anyway thanks for watching guys i hope you guys enjoyed the creation of this rotator or this crane a new crane system and that was actually pretty fun with the landing gears and everything and i did get the conveyor belt to the position that i needed to so now i can move on with this video and make another conveyor belt to uh bring it somewhere else but yeah ultimately that was a lot of fun um so I urge you guys to play around with this. This is the same exact script that I used on my previous video on creating the smaller crane. I just decided to make a bigger one with more pistons and added a new uh, rotor at the end where the landing gear is so I could rotate the unit. But ultimately, it's pretty much the same. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.